Hello, it's Davina here and welcome to a bite-sized video. I'm going to call this one The Bigger The Better. Many people either take a photo or download an image without knowing how many pixels there are in that image. So using Photoshop, let me show you how you can find out the size of your image. And I've got Two, two images here and as you can see they're exactly the same image there's no difference between them at all or is there let's examine each one a little bit closer if we click on the first image and look down the bottom here you will see 119.14% and that means it's 119.14% of its original size. And next to it, dock 1.22 megabytes. And that's the size of the file. If we click on the second image and go back to the bottom, now we'll see it's 19.36% and the document size is 46.2 megabytes. And that immediately tells me that this image is much bigger. Well, let's get some more information about the two images. And I'll click back on the first and go up to image and come down to image size. And you'll see in this window, this is the preview. The image size is 1.22 megabytes. The width of it is 800 pixels and the height is 533 pixels and the resolution is 300. And what that means is if you click on where it says pixels here and inches, the size of the document would be 2.667 inches by 1.777 inches or in centimeters 6.77 4.551 but I'm going to go back to pixels for the moment this tells me it's a small image both by the file size and the number of pixels in it so I'll cancel that but let's have a look at image 2 and we go click on image 2 up to image image size this time the the file size is 46.2 but the width is 4920 by 3280 or those are the inches 16.4 by 10.9 or 41.66 centimeters by 27.77 and the resolution is 300 so let's put it back to pixels and cancel and cancel whilst there's no differences between the two images when they appear on our screen that's the original and that's the smaller one the challenges arise when one wants to resize the documents let's imagine we want to send Auntie May a print of the scene the bridge scene because she doesn't have a computer and she likes to look at photos in the traditional way. The quickest way to do this is to create a new document. In fact, I'm going to create two exactly the same size and I'm going up to File, New, and I'm going to create it six inches by four inches, which is postcard size and it's 300 pixels per inch for the resolution and click OK. So we have our new document there and let's click another one, new, and I'm going to change that to centimeters because some people work in those. And again, it's 300 pixels per inch. <laughs> um, it would be 118, but I'm sticking with the what I know. <laughs> 300 per inch and OK. So we've got Untitled 1 and Untitled 2. So what I'm going to do now is click on the 
smaller one and make sure the move tool is highlighted click and drag up to where we want to add this image and holding the shift key so it's centered and it's centered perfectly into this document I'm going to do the same with the bigger image move to highlighted click on your image drag up to where you want to put it and when that appears bring your cursor down hold in shift and it comes in and very quickly we can see the difference between the two this one really is only showing in half of the six by four inches whereas this one if I move it you can see all different parts of the image and let's go back and I'll undo the move so we leave it like that this is where the fun starts I'm going to go on this one so how do we resize this image to fit into the 6x4 well we go up to edit and down to free transform and these bars this handles appear there and holding the shift key and clicking on the edge and this preserves all the ratios we can do that and move it if you want you could probably get away with squashing in here and squashing there and press either the tick or enter it doesn't look too bad but this is at 50 percent so if we made it a hundred percent and I hold the command key and one that's a hundred percent and scrolling through it I'm beginning to see a blur it's not the quality and that's what happens when you increase the size of a small document you've only got a certain amount of uh, information to work with and the programs will stretch uh, the, the pixels and that's what they've done is each pixel is stretched and it creates this rather blurry effect so turning to document 2 we realize that not all the picture is in the 6x4 and we want it all in there so we do the same thing as we did on the small one using the transform tool we got to edit and down to free transform and the the handles are there but because it's bigger we can't see and a trick is to hold the command key down or control and zero and you can see it's twice the size of the 6x4 and the same principle is holding the shift key and dragging on the handles so it comes down and then we're still holding and drag it and I zoom up by holding command and plus so I can see what I'm doing and then the tick or enter and let's again look at the two that's the big one at 100% just move so we we're getting the same shot in and I'm looking at these two guys here it's all much crisper the windows the the brickwork here this is, you could see it, it's pixelated and let's go back to that so hopefully this has shown you what happens when one tries to increase the size of a small image it will depend on what you're using it for if it's just going to be for um, uh, Facebook or any social media site there's no problem 
but if at any time you want to print out at a bigger um, size then as I said right at the beginning the bigger the better go for as much pic pixels in your image as you can hope this has helped see you in the next video bye bye